All right, so triazin is uh, both a uh, feeding suppressant and acts as a feeding repellent, uh, which is to say, it, it imagine uh, an intensely bitter substance that in insects just cannot uh, manage to uh, uh, utilize any of the sap that is tainted by this substance. And it's intensely bitter taste stops them to feeding. Within 48 hours, they'll stop feeding. And of course, when they stop feeding, they won't molt, uh, they won't uh, reach maturity, they won't hatch into adults, and they won't be laying more eggs. Uh, on or near your tree or on your neighbor's tree. So in that respect, um, it's very effective as a systemic insecticide, but it also acts as an insect repellent uh, so that uh, uh, insects, adult insects that are looking for places to lay eggs uh, will, will be sort of scared off by a tree that's been treated with triazin and will go look for some other tree that doesn't have um, this extra bitterness or the bitter taste to it. It's got uh, a very um, benign uh, effect on all non-target organisms, but uh, the plant feeding insects or the insects that, tree, that seek to feed on your tree once it's treated um, won't be as interested in your tree anymore. So that, that effect, the repellent effect, lasts for up to two years So uh, from the, the time of the treatment. So we'll do these ones uh, today. Uh, the one behind me and the one beside me here is uh, Young's uh, weeping birch and uh, the gray Silas weeping birch. If we come back and look now uh, next year, any time in the, in the middle of the growing season next year, we should notice uh, uh, quite a difference in the appearance of the, the crown. Uh, instead of having uh, yellow leaves that are a sign of mineral deficiency, we should see uh, brighter, greener leaves. Uh, we should see new growth and definitely we will not see any of the, uh, the insect uh, damage that we can see quite easily on these trees uh, this year. Uh, the papery leaves and that sort of thing will be a thing of the past until the uh, effects of the treatment wears off, uh, which won't be until, you know, possibly 2019 or even 2020.